Next, we are going to cover a feature very similar to the extruded boss base, and that would be the revolve boss base. Now, just like the extrude boss base that requires a 2D sketch, so does the revolve boss base. So when I select the icon, I will receive a message telling me to select a face or plane on which to create a sketch. So I'm going to go out to the screen, select the front plane, and I am taken into the sketch ribbon. I'll begin by creating a vertical center line, and then going back to the sketch ribbon, and selecting the line command, and creating a simple profile sketch. I'll place a couple arcs in here. I'll pull it straight down, over, and then back to the start point. Now that's a good profile to demonstrate this command. So let's go ahead and close out of the sketch. And notice immediately I see a preview of a revolved feature. Now let's go over the property manager and take a look at the different settings. The very first window in the property manager is for axis of revolution. Now if your sketch only contains one center line, SolidWorks will automatically populate this window with that center line. However, you are not locked into revolving about a center line. In fact, I can go out to the screen and select this line here and notice the updated preview. I will then go back and select the center line and once again, notice the updated preview. Now let's work down the property manager. The next area is direction one. Under direction one, I'm going to click this drop down list for revolve type. And blind and mid plane are the two common ones. However, if you have existing model geometry on the screen, you can revolve up to a vertex, up to a surface, or offset from a surface. We're going to leave it at blind. And based on blind, notice we are revolving for 360 degrees. We can change this angle by typing in a different value or using the up and down arrows. Another option we have is to go to the screen and grab a hold of this arrow by holding down the left mouse button. And notice we can change the revolve angle by doing a simple drag. Take note of what happens when I go through the sketch. It will flip to the other side. Okay, let's move on. The next item in the property manager is direction two. If I put a check mark in this box, notice we have a drop down list for blind, up to vertex, up to surface, and offset from surface. Once again, we'll leave it at blind. I am going to change this angle to 20 degrees. And notice the preview on the screen. For direction one, we are at 285 degrees. So based on this sketch profile, it's 285 degrees back to this face here. And then under direction two, we are 20 degrees in this direction from the sketch profile. I am going to uncheck direction two. And now let's take a look at thin feature. Thin feature is a setting that was seen in other SolidWorks features commands but we didn't talk about it. This would be a good place to discuss thin feature. I'm gonna put a check mark for thin feature and I am gonna zoom up on the sketch just so you can see what's happening. Now this thin feature has a distance or thickness of 10 millimeters and that thickness based on this specification here is one direction. That means it's applying the 10 millimeters to the outside of the sketch profile. If I want to change it to the inside, I go back to property manager and select the reverse direction button and notice the preview update on the screen. I also have the option to take that 10 millimeters and equally split it around the sketch by selecting mid plane. So now it's five millimeters on each side of the sketch. Or if I want to specify a different distance, on each side of the sketch, I have two direction. I am going to return it to one direction, to the outside, and that's what you currently see on the screen. 
and close out of the revolved boss base feature. And notice the results on this screen.